Hello, this is Coaster012, and today I'm going to be playing Snake Pass for the PS4. Now, I'm playing on the PS4 because there's a, was a problem with, with the PC version, which I think they should update the minimum specs in, in the Steam store, because it says that uh, the minimum is a 6870 HD uh, AMD Radeon and I have a 6970 HD so I thought I'd play you know just fine but one problem with it was uh, is when I played it uh, I even uh, I had to put it on like low to mid settings basically pretty much and with stuff set to low, this game, you don't want to turn down the graphics in this game because it's got really pretty graphics and if you turn them down, it's not that great. So, anyways, I ended up getting a refund because uh, I thought my graphics card would play it no problem, but that's only one main, one little problem there is if you plan to get this on PC, Make sure that you have a relatively good graphics card. You know, something like an RX 480 will play this game no problem. Uh, and you'll get 60 frames per second. Not sure the frame rate on the PS4. I think it might be it might be something like closer to 30. But overall, it's, the PS4 version runs ran, runs perfectly fine for me, and it looks just fan it looks and plays fantastically anyways before i uh i will now get into the review of snake pass for the ps4 starting off with the sound and the music now the sound itself there isn't a ton there at least when it comes to to any dialogue when it comes to the voicing of the characters, there's a, it's basically kind of like Banjo Kazooie, where you just have the characters just make like different little grunts or squeaks when they talk to you. Overall, it's not done bad, and I kind of like that, and I kind of really like that. Then there's things like the ambient sounds, which are done really, are also done really well. You'll have sounds like birds chirping, or you might hear crickets, or you know, a little, just little, little added sounds in the background are really nice to, to hear, and I think it was done pretty fantastically. Now the music is what uh, what's really what is really good when it comes to the sound design in this game. I really like the music. It's got that, you know, kind of that jungle type music, which is really fitting considering, well, you're ba you're kind of playing through levels in a jungle in this game. So, to me, it's, uh, the music is just perfect and spot on. It's also very calming thing with the... Uh, it's also very calming and very, very relax, uh, relaxing and laid back and it's something I really enjoy. As you play through the levels, I've never found myself getting bored of the music and I think that's really well done. Next, I, I want to talk about the graphics. Graphically, this, ga this game looks really good, and like I was saying, saying uh, you, it, it, you will, if you're playing PC, you'll need a relatively a good graphics card to play it, and so it's not like the graphics are really super weak. Gra uh, so graphically, it looks beautiful. With the, with the things from the lighting, to the shadows, to the textures, everything is done really well, in my opinion. It looks fantastic, and they did a really good uh, job with the graphics. I, uh, I have no complaints about it. 
and, and really like and, and really like them a lot. Last but not least, I want to talk about the gameplay. So, story-wise, there's not a whole lot. Basically, the from what I got of the story is um, the gates. Um, the gates are closed between the levels. Well, they've been closed because uh, there's some bad guy or whatever stole the gate keys, and you have to get them back and uh, to complete the levels. It's not really a whole lot of story there, so uh, not a whole lot to say about that. But basically, you have to collect the th yeah, you have to collect three. The keystones between uh, throughout the levels, which overall the key they're not really hard to get. There's also these little the little blue orbs or called water wisps, and there's and as you can see, we there you know, the water wisps. There's so many of them through each level, and then. There are five coins scattered throughout the level, which if you want to get this, uh, if you want to fully complete this game, it's going to take a, a good amount of time to actually be able to get things like the coins because some of them are actually really hard. And this game has a unique control scheme and with R2 being, you know, or the right trigger. To, to sliver, you also have your left stick to move your head around, and you have your L2, or left trigger, to grip on the things, which, which, with some practice, isn't too hard to get, but, uh, it will definitely take a little bit to get used to. It's not like other games where you're a character with legs and and you can just run jump over everything. You literally have to sliver throughout the levels. And that's the thing. There is no jump. So they actually put these poles holes placed throughout the level that you have to sliver around and grip onto to help you get through the level. Overall, once you get used to controls, which I have uh, have uh, gotten a lot more used to uh, from playing it, it's not too bad, and I like it. It's unique. It's something that we haven't seen before. I, this is the first platformer I've seen where you're playing as a snake, and you're uh, and you have to sliver around poles and. and to get up on different ledges and get different and get different collectibles and like I mentioned with the grip with the grip you can actually sliver around the pole oh and hold the grip and hold the grip button and kind of coil yourself so you grip on and when it comes to different uh, to different collectibles you'll actually have to you know, hold on to the grip button and uh, you have to utilize the grip button to actually be able to collect di different uh, items or get up with different poles or anything like that you have to use it because if you don't you will just easily fall off so it does take a little bit getting used to that but like I said, once you get used to it, it's not too bad. I actually, I really like it. I think it's unique. There's also switches in the game on later levels that you need to coil yourself around and actually move and actually move to turn and uh, to turn the switches or pull them. And um, and later levels even have balls that you have to push into a hole to actually uh, open up doors or move in and move different and part of the parts of the level to help you get through them which is actually kind of, which is actually pretty neat 
overall the levels themselves aren't that big um i guess you could kind of consider them relatively linear with not a ton of exploration with not a ton of exploration due to their size but if you want to 100 percent everything it's gonna take you a little while I've actually had levels where they took me like an hour to complete because I fell off and and died so many times. Which, there is a checkpoint system um, in the game, but mm -hmm. sometimes um, they can be far apart from each other and can be over and overall if you fall wow. to your death can be a problem. You won't see a whole lot of falling off of the level oh, early on in the game, but later on there are the sections like bridges that you have to climb across, which can which can take a take a lot of time and patience to do. There's also swimming in the uh, swimming in the game, a with uh, some levels be having quite a bit of swimming where you have to dive down and go up and put just to collect different things which is uh, which is quite interesting and later and in later levels there are also spikes that you'll have to use the uh, you'll have to use the bamboo poles to help you get over but overall the gameplay is great in this game and it's overall a fantastic game and with the price with the price point of $28 at least here in Canada it's really worth it in my opinion it looks great it sounds great and it plays great I have never I haven't really seen any get any issues with games I have seen I know of no actual slowdown with the game which is really good with some games nowadays having a ton of slowdown. And with the PS4, it has a really uh, has a really nice expansive uh, trophy list. It will, which will actually take you quite a bit of time to get them. Not all. Some of the trophies are easier, but then there's harder trophies. Like, uh, one, the one that requires you to play through a level without dying. Of course, if you're not getting the collectibles and, uh, and you just get the keystones, it's not overly hard in that aspect, but in later levels it will be a little bit harder. Er, so getting a plat platinum on this game I don't see it being extremely difficult, but I do see it taking quite a bit of time. I... Uh, to get so overall it has a lot of bang for your buck you will spend quite a bit of time playing this game now so I have seen other reviewers say that it takes around if you want 100% it'll take you maybe four hours to complete now they could always add more levels later on so that might not be too bad and like I said, it has taken me to, uh, the, to around an hour to actually a hundred percent and to actually a hundred percent the some of these levels because of the fact that you might fall off from a section or you might you know might die to some spikes or anything like that you know depending on your skill level it may actually take you more I think the it could take you around 10 hours to complete this game if you didn't know what you were doing which uh, eh, which overall I think for based on price uh, uh, based on this price and everything it's not an overly bad thing. Overall, it's a great game, and I really highly recommend it. I would give Snake Pass a 9 out of 10. Anyways, this has been Kevster Zero and Two, and I hope you liked the video, and and keep an eye out, out for any future videos. And uh, if you want to see more Snake Blast play, play, gameplay, I have been streaming it on Twitch, 
So if you want to get a better idea of what of what the game game is like and want to see some more gameplay before deciding whether or not you want to buy the game then feel free to check me out oh i will have a link in the description then anyways this has been coaster zero one two and have a great day oh and another thing i forgot to mention is you could also change yeah you can also change your expression for and with the directional pad with up for happy left for for worried and right for angry and down for for sad now this is actually a direct uh, this is actually kind of related to the uh, little big planet where uh, where it's actually created by sumo and sumo with sumo actually co-produced uh, uh, the co-developed the little big plant series so that's a neat little feature that i like that, that they added in